Now move on to the next problem. I read the problem and this problem belongs to a book back size question number 7. Make a diagram to show how hypermetrophia is corrected. The near point of hypermetrophia I is 1 meter. What is the power of lens required to correct this defect? Assume that the near point of the normal I is 25 centimeter. Again review this problem, make a diagram to show how hypermetrophia is corrected. The near point of hypermetrophia I is 1 meter. What is the power of lens required to correct this defect? Assume that the near point of the normal I is 25 centimeter. So I hope you are all familiar with the red diagrams, defects of vision. So here I wrote. Here I, draw, here I drew the diagram for hypermetrophia case. So here the object, so here we are going to use a convex lens and the image is focused on the retina, right? And the image will be formed on the just behind that object. So this place the image will be formed and we can use this convex lens, we can get the image exactly on the retina, right? So what they are given the problem? Yes, they given four point. Yes, so V they given as minus one meter. So minus one meter here I converted in terms of centimeter. Therefore I wrote minus hundred centimeter. And they also given U is equal to minus twenty five centimeter. Right, the minimum distance they are given as twenty five centimeter. U should be always minus. As we know that, I hope we are familiar with that. And formula for this problem. Lens formula here we are going to use 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u and the power also we are going to calculate here p is equal to 1 by f. Now move on to calculate the focal length of this problem 1 by f is equal to 1 by minus 100 because v is minus 100 and here we have minus the same minus I put here and 1 here, here I put 1 instead of u I am going to use it as minus 25. And again and again repeating here, here we made small careless mistake. This minus and this minus will be multiplied that will give plus. So that's why I wrote here 1 by f is equal to minus 1 by 100 plus 1 by 25. After that we need to take LCM between these two. So here 100, here we have 25. So this 25 and both numerator and denominator we should multiply by 4. So 1 into 4, 25 into 4 that will become becomes 100, right? So 100 here it becomes 4. So minus 1 plus 4 whole divided by 100, that 4 will give us plus 3 by 100. Because majority sign is plus, therefore the final answer also 3 by 100, that is 1 by f. And obviously we know that f, become, f, f is equal to 100 by 3 centimeter yes the reciprocal of this one so f is equal to 100 by 3 centimeter and if you are converting into meter we can divide by this value by 100 so whole divide by 100 if you are putting it so if you divide this in the sense here the 100 will come so 100 and 100 will cancel and it will give 1 by 3 meter and we need to calculate the power also here so p is equal to 1 by f here we are calculating Again and again repeating, so whenever if you are calculating power, the focal length should be in terms of meter. So we need to substitute only the meter value, so f is equal to 1 by 3. So here we have numerator, denominator. In that denominator, we have numerator and denominator. The denominator of denominator should goes to numerator. Therefore, the power of this lens becomes plus 3 diopter, plus 3 diopter. I hope you understand well.